Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl. Mondays I've been doing a series of profiles of fish I keep in my aquariums. So today we are going to have a look at the Melanochromus abratus. So please stay tuned and we'll learn something together. The Melanochromus erratus is a very popular cichlid due to its striking coloration. They are also known as the Malawi Golden Cichlid and the Golden Ambuna. I like to call them the Devilfish. Their appeal lies in their beautiful colors. Right from wigglers, they have this gorgeous pattern of bright yellow, black, and white stripes on their upper half of their bodies. Their bellies are solid white or yellow. Their fins are yellow and black with white trim. Juvenile males will begin to drastically change in color as they mature. They will also lose their bright yellow bellies and turn a very dark brown or black. Their upper body will retain some of the yellow, even showing some blue in the stripes, but they will not be as bright. The males and females are quite easy to tell apart due to their great difference in coloration. While the females are moderately aggressive, the males are virtually intolerant of males of the same species or other males that look similar, making them the so-called devil fish. They cannot be kept with any fish other than cichlids. Usually you can only keep one male in an aquarium as they will fight to the death over the females. If there is no male present, the most dominant female will take on the coloration of the male and assume the male role without changing gender. The erratus is a very popular cichlid in the aquarium hobby. In fact, they are one of the first ambuna to be introduced. This particular cichlid is not recommended for novice fish keepers. They are the most aggressive ambuna, being very territorial and belligerent far beyond any other Ambuna species. Often an inexperienced fish keeper will wonder why all their fish are dying after purchasing one of these devil fish. This is a relatively small cichlid maxing out at 4.3 inches in length, males growing slightly larger than the females. Their lifespan is about five years. With good care, proper food, and a regular maintenance schedule, they have been known to grow larger. They have a thick body with an elongated shape, a rounded nose, and a small mouth. Their teeth are sharp and closely spaced, designed for scraping algae off of rocks in their natural habitat. The Melanochromus erratus is endemic to Lake Malawi, found widespread throughout the southern coastal areas. They primarily inhabit rocky areas in small groups of 8 to 10 females and 1 male. These cichlids are listed as LC, which stands for Least Concern, as they have no known threats. The errata should not be in less than a 50-gallon aquarium, although if you tend on keeping a group, then you would be better off with a 120-gallon if you're homing them with other cichlids. They are a freshwater fish but can easily tolerate slightly brackish conditions. Their natural habitat is a sand or crushed coral substrate with lots of caves, rock piles, and swim-throughs. Creating many territories will alleviate some of the aggression. Having a few target fish in their aquarium is a good idea. If they are picking on certain tank mates, this will help draw attention away. Rainbow fish and giant daniel do well as they are fast swimmers. The erratus are also consummate diggers, so it's important to secure your rocks so they cannot topple over. They will eat live plants, so if you like plants, make sure they are fake. This cichlid is an omnivore doing well on a veggie-based diet of pellets, spirulina, and other vegetables. 
green vegetables such as cucumbers, um, zucchini, romaine will help to keep their colors nice and bright. They can also be fed some live frozen or dried foods, but only on occasion as they are prone to digestive problems if fed too much protein, as most mbunas tend to be. It's always better to feed a few times a day and just small amounts. The erratus are easy to breed, but often other species will stop breeding with these cichlids as tank mates. They are mouth brooders holding their eggs in their mouths for up to three weeks before releasing free swimming fry. Females tend to become very aggressive at this time and will even attempt to kill the male if felt threatened. In my aquarium, my Mbuna 75 gallon setup, I have four erratus as you can see in this video. I have raised these from eggs and had to rehome their parents as they were far too aggressive. I was really hoping these four would be females. One of the males changed color over a month ago, but the second male has just been changing now, still showing some white on his belly. I'm going to have to remove one male, possibly both. So far they are behaving, but in my experience, it's the calm before the storm for this devil fish. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. I hope your new year is off to a terrific start. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.